Hi, this is Victor. Welcome to Channel Vic 5 and Season 2. So, welcome to Part 2 of my episodes on how to fill the, uh, how to use TurboTax. Today we're going to focus on RRSP contributions. Now, with an RRSP, of course, you can have more than one. For every one that you have, um, your financial institution will send out, or you can either access by online, um, your contributions, which come in two parts. The first contribution is from March to December of the previous year. And the second one will be for January and February of the current year. So let's take a look and see how you enter that information into TurboTax. Okay. So over here in TurboTax, oh, and by the way, whenever you're doing work, don't forget to save your work. Okay. So over here, down below again, we're going to go to Forms. Okay. And we're going to do a form lookup. So then we're going to hear it. We're going to type in RRSP. Okay. Then down here, you'll see that there is a um, RSP savings plan. So let's just click on that. Oh, and there we have the uh, the uh, fill in. So over here, as you can see, you have from March to December. So let's just put in the number, say 500. And from January to March, we'll put in, uh, say 200. And as you can see, you know, this will be one. But there is room for, whoops, there is room for multiple RSPs. Anyway, there is the save and close. Now watch what happens when we put the save and close over here. As you can see, it changes, and now you've got even more of a refund. Okay, and then if we click down, if we scroll down here, I think we can actually see it. Um, there it is. See, on line 208, there it is. And I think if we double click, it pops up again. So another way to access this is by going to line 208 double clicking and then the worksheet will pop up and you can fill it in. Okay, now we'll just close that. So that is basically how you uh, fill in your RSP information and uh, and then go from there. So stay tuned for tomorrow where we'll go through a few of the general questions that you have to answer on the TurboTax. Uh, things like adding your email, there's one question about um, that they always leave blank, which you usually put down no, and uh, I'll show you that tomorrow as well. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and see you in my next episode, and don't forget to save your work.